Sir Ephraim Mervis, the chief rabbi, took to the pages of the Sunday Telegraph yesterday. He was, interestingly, born and educated in South Africa, and he argued that Israel was not intent on the purposeful annihilation of a people as an objective in and of itself. He said it should be obvious that if Israel's objectives were genocidal, it could have used its military strength to level Gaza in a matter of days. And I want to know what you think. That, to me, is quite a grim defence. I think the death toll passed 25,000 this weekend. The... Um, what's the word? For, 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 so when you get moved, this... But displacement is in the millions. The the destruction of, of property, if you like, homes, hospitals, schools, and the rest of it is apocalyptic now. And and yet only about one percent of Gaza's population has been killed. Netanyahu has said he, he, he won't stop. What word are you allowed to use? to describe the killing of 25,000 people, the enormous majority of whom are civilians. Uh, you could say war, but that at least presumes on some level a, a, a balance in conflict. You, in war, you normally, not perhaps always, but you normally have um, rising death tolls on both sides that bear some resemblance to each other. So I don't, I don't like war. I mean, the the indiscriminate bombing of civilian areas, whether you've told people to get out of there or not, is a, a pre-Geneva Convention war, but not post-Geneva Convention war. But I find this bit very powerful. So I find that defence very weak. It's not a genocide because we've only killed 25,000 and if we really wanted to eradicate everybody, we would have done by now. Number one, the international community would not have put up with that. And number two, I think for everybody, whether you were supportive of Netanyahu at the beginning or not, for everybody, the incremental nature of the escalation has been terrifying.